Hi, my name is Vlad. I'm a recovered alcoholic and drug addict. And today we're going to read Greatest Thy Faithfulness. And we'll start with March 28th. The Great Potter. Read Jeremiah 18, verses 1 through 6. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Jeremiah 18, verse 6. One definition of the word attitude is the angle of approach that an aircraft takes when landing. Author Chris Spicer writes, Attitudes are to life as the angle of approach is to flying. He adds, Attitude is the way we choose to think about things. Attitudes will cause us to react and behave in a certain way. He also says that attitudes are not inborn or accidental. They are learned and absorbed reactions. Therefore, they can be changed. During my 30s, the Lord began convicting me of my wrong thinking toward myself, others, and life negative, self-pitying, and bitter thinking. With the help of God's Word, I recognized my need for change in three main areas, my attitudes, actions, and reactions. But I feared I couldn't change. One day I read in Jeremiah 18 how the potter refashioned some marred clay, which is what I felt like, into a different vessel as it pleased the potter. What I couldn't do, my great potter could. I only needed to be cooperative clay. Today, this vessel is far from finished. But as I put myself in the potter's hands, he keeps working on me and shaping my attitudes and actions. I call them Christ attitudes Christ actions, and Christ reactions. The, bra the great potter can do the same for you.